I gave my life to Christ when I was in primary standard form. I Some of my families planned that I was not to, to, to walk like you people are walking. I could spend a, sp a sleepless night Nilikuwa silali kabisa. And uh, undergoing a serious pain. I decided to give my life to Christ when an altar call was called. Nikaamua kumpatia Yesu maisha yangu wakati watu walipokuwa wanaitwa mbele kuokoka. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. If, it, if you have your Bible, come out with Biblia yako. Open with me. Fungua pamoja na mi. The book of Joshua, seven, uh, chapter seven. Kitabu cha Joshua mlango wa saba, verse one. Mustari wa kwanza. It's God. Lakini wana wa Israeli walifanya dhambi katika kitu kilichowekwa wakfu maana akani mwana wa Karmi mwana wa Zabdi mwana wa Zera wa kabila ya Yuda alitoa baadhi ya vitu vilivyowekwa wakfu hasira ya Bwana ikawaka juu ya wana wa Israeli I will read in English But the Israelites acted unfaithfully in in the regard of the devoted things, Akan, son of Kami, son of Z Zamri, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of them. So the Lord's anger burned against the Israelites. 
also also open with me in the book of uh, Isaiah Mungu pamoja nami kitabu cha Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 18 Come now I and Johnny let us reason together tusemezane says the Lord Asema Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Watu wa mbulbul Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Father, we thank you. Baba, tunakushukuru. We come before you this time. Tunakuja mbele zako wakati huu. That we may be uh, may be used of you. Na kwamba tukaweze kutumiwa na wewe. Release our time. Tumia bwana vinyo vyetu. Release our flesh. Bwana tumia bwana miili yetu. Release our flesh. Tumia bwana miili yetu. Release our hearts. Mia bwana mioyo yetu. King of glory at this time. Nakupatia wewe tukufu bwana wakati huu. We I now come before you. Ninakunja mbele zako sasa. No to the human perspective. Sio kwa kujua kwa mwanadamu bwana. But the spirit of Lakini kwa roho yule ambao Bwana ukamilisha praying to our Lord. Ikiomba e Bwana that you may minister to our souls. Kama mtu tuhudumie Bwana, umme minister to our hearts. Tuhudumie Bwana mioyo yetu. I pray for each and every person in our channel to this word. Ninaomba kila mmoja wetu aliyokusanyika mahali hapa. I pray to all the sellers and the buyers in the shops. Ninaomba wanunuzi na wauzaji mahali hapa. May rain with thy pleasure upon them. Ya kwamba utaachilia mani yako juu yao. I pray for those who are riding a vehicle. You know, be a pure no one that's a magari. Not a human in nature. Now, see you call me that I'm prophesying their blessing in the name of Jesus. You can tell me about that. I think of Jesus. If you are listening, say amen. Come on, it's Kiza Sema. Amen. That have been accorded this chance. Ya kwamba nimepewa nafasi hii. But I want to tell you people who are bulbul. Lakini nataka kukwambia enyi watu wa bulbul. The word of God has been relayed. Ya kwamba neno la Mungu ni hatara even if we may call an altar call. Hata kama tutaitisha hapa watu wa hapa. God is going to stand with you. Mungu anakusimama na wewe. By no departure from preaching. Haijalishi kwa mahubiri ataenda vipi. I will just preach. Itahubiri. I will just preach. Itahubiri tu. Because that is the thing that brought me in this place. Hilo ndio jambo nililoleta hapa. I'm a student from the University of Nairobi. Yeye ni mwanafunzi kutoka chuo kikuu cha Nairobi. Hapa Kabete campus. Now the Bible that we've read, Son of God. Biblia mo tu may so may mo na mungu. The Bible tells us of a certain man. Biblia ina tumbia kuhusu manomme moja. A certain man called Akan. Manomme moja ba na ito Akan from the tribe of Judah. Kutoka katika kabila la Yuda. What happened to Akan? Huyo mtu ambaye anaitwa Akani, let me give you what is behind the scene. Wacha nikueleze yale maswali ambayo yanamhusu mtu huyu. God released the Israelites from Egypt. Mungu aliwatoa wana wa Israeli kutoka nchi ya Misri where they were enslaved. Wa mahali ambapo walikuwa ni watumwa, where they were captives. Mahali ambapo walitekwa mateka. Where they could not be paid, although they were working day and night. Na hali ambapo hao kuwezo kulipo, hata ingawa nifanya kazi usiku na mchana. All their children could cry day and night. Watoto hao wangeweza kulia usiku na mchana. Son of God. Wala wa mungu. Son of God. Wala wa mungu. When they cried to the Lord. Wakati wali pomlilia Jehovah. When they cried to the Lord. Wakati wali pomlilia Jehovah. Biblia inaniambia in the book of Psalm 107 katika Zaburi mlango wa 107 You will read it at at your own time utajisomea wewe mwenyewe lakini asema when they cry to the Lord wakati walipomlilia Jehovah their God had their cry Jehovah alisikia kilio chao akastuma neno lake and they 
God anointed another man called Joshua. Mungu alimpaka mafuta mtu mwingine ambaye ni Joshua. The son of Nun. Mwana wa Nun. Now along the way. Hata njiani sasa after passing the river Jordan. Walipofuka mto Jordan. Still problems existed. Sina bazo bado ziliwaandama. There was no peace all over. Hakukuwa na amani kamwe. People could undergo some sufferings. Watu bado walikuwa wanapitia mateso. There was anger all over. Kulikuwa na hasira kila mahali. What happened? Kulikuwa na hasira kila mahali. What happened? Okay, what happened to the to, to the Israelites? Mambo ambayo yalifanyika kwa wana wa Israeli. The Israelites for God, the favor that God when he had Jesus Christ was passing out. When he had that Jesus Christ is passing out. When he had that the Son of God was passing out. He had Some were driving. Some went to the universities. Some were walking and running like this. They could run. But this man could not walk. He could not move. What happened? This man continued. This man continued. Son of God. Who will help a certain man here? 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 Who will help a certain man here?
I want to ask this question as we stand before the presence around this evening. You are there, you are saying preacher. I have heard the message of God. It was my message. I have come to understand that the eyes of God are seeing me wherever I am. I have been living a dirty life that is not worth before the Lord. But from this evening, I want to surrender my life to Christ. This is your opportunity. Are you there? You say, preacher, play with me. I want to turn away from my wicked ways. This is the God of opportunity. Lift up your hand. We're going to pray together with you. Oh, glory be to God. Asante mana mungu wajabu walikuwa mindi waka songea karibu na uwepo wako. I don't want to give all the glory and honor unto your name king of glory. Kwa na ninajua kwamba mungu wajabu mewatendea maitaji ya mewe yao. I give all the praise glory unto your name on high. Wale walikuja wakio wagonjo bibini na sema komba kupitia kupigwa kwa kwa pale msarabani. Sisi tumepona. Na kushukuru mfarme kwa uponyaji wa maisha yao. Na kushukuru kwa uponyaji ya mwiri yao. Na kushukuru kwa uponyaji wa mawazo yao. Jina lako ni tukuzo ni inuriwe milele. Yule aliefika katika uwe poko mfarme. Akiwa na itaji lorote katika maisha yake. Naomba ni katika jina la Yesu Kisho. Anapotoka katika maalia kwa mfarme wale mazo. Asante mano nenda kukutana Na maitaji ya moyo wake Kwa utukufu wa jina lako Tokupa utukufu, tokupa sifa zote Ni katika jina la Yesu Christu Tumiomba na atakuwa mine Nataka tumshangirie mwana Mana ametoka mamo maku Give you praise, you give you glory, you give you mwana Ndeni mwana ala watendea Katika jina la Yesu Christu Mwana tuko wapa Pia ijuma mosi bando tuko wapa Na ijuma pili bando tutakuwa hapa Tukiriubiri nero rabona Kwa hivyo kwanzia leo mpaka ijuma pili 
ungana pamoja nasi mahali hapa ili tuendelee kutafuta uso bora tuendelee kunena mambo makuu ambayo Mungu anatenda nashukuru Mungu kwa aliyofika na sasa hizi jioni yale anataka kumkaribisha kila mmoja aliye mahali hapa katika mkutano wa revival ambao utakuwa katika kanisa letu pale la deliverance tukitoka tu hapa hivi hivi tunaingia katika mkutano na Mungu atatutenda mambo makuu kwa hivyo nataka sasa hizi tumalize tufunga macho yetu tuombe ndio tuweze kwenda kwa ule mkutano mwingine baba tukushukuru kwa jioni njema asante kwa kunena na maisha yetu Asante kwa kutubariki. Asante kwa mujo e burbulu ewe bwana. Ninajua umeanza kutenda mambo makuu na Mungu arema zote tutakapofika Jumapili sifa na utukufu ni kwako. Kwa yale mambo makuu ambayo utakuwa umeyatenda. Asante kwa kila mmoja ambaye jioni ya leo amelisikia neno lako mfalme mwema. Hata napoenda kukaa ama kulala Mungu arema zote. Enenda neno lako bando likafuate maisha yake. Tukutane na kuburu jioni ya leo ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na atakuamini. Tuseme amen tubarikiwe sana Mungu awatende mambo mema wale ambao tunaenda tuweke equipment kwa gari twende pale